we're protesting Caligula because it is the first hardcore porn film to run in a commercial theater in Vancouver. It's our chance to ask the government why they don't keep the law. We are addressing the Attorney General in particular. We are also getting to our political representatives at the provincial level as well as um, our Crown Council and those that have the involvement with the law. We're claiming that hardcore pornography dumped on us by Bob, Bob Guccione, the fellow with the Penthouse magazine and his millions, is something Vancouver doesn't need. We have community standards. Community standards are mentioned in the law, and we're asking that we maintain community standards. This film is worse than most people could ever imagine because it involves violence, rape, bestiality, castration, every kind of uh, sex activity that involves itself with violence. It's hardcore pornographic. Therefore, United Citizens for Integrity are asking that the government take action to close Caligula down. It was history as well as this. Now, the apocalypse now didn't show the whole war, it didn't show everything, but it showed enough. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is this might have shown a few bad things, but things could have been worse. We didn't live in those times. We didn't live in Vietnam when, when the war was on and Apocalypse Now was filmed and stuff. Which yeah, is which is, had a few bad reviews before. You just wait till Armageddon well, one of our one of our I'm just trying to draw comparisons like Apocalypse. My now. friend, one of our workers in the church is a, a high school teacher, and she went in to see it. And so she said that all around, stuff. yeah, I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, go see it and then uh, tell yeah. me about it. My friend, all you got to do is read yeah, what it says. It read what it says on the window. You know they they don't lie about, about it. You're gonna yeah. die. If someone tells it you teaches right, violence, someone rape, perversion, bestiality, and torture. If you you see? Hints, you're arguing around and around in circles like a dog chasing his tail, my friend. You're not getting anywhere. To put I it another way, it doesn't no. make sense what you're way. talking about, Someone my friend. Someone you jump off a building. If you haven't seen the movie, you, well, you, you don't know what you're you talking about. Yeah, Sunday night, and I thought it was all right. Well, of course you would think it's so all right. So go see it, and then come out here and tell me my about friend, it. I don't need to see it, because they tell me what so it's about. you got to try it to know what it's like. Personal experience for most of Okay, yeah. you know if you jump off a building, you're going to wind up dead or seriously injured. You have to try it to know what it's like. That's healthy. Medical. What's dope? It's going to hurt you. I've had people I know. Go see it and then tell me about it. If you love the Lord, then you don't bother with this garbage, my friend. Go see it and then tell me about it. You can't tell anybody what something you haven't seen or done. You take a stand against nothing. There's people like you that talk about drugs. They haven't even fucking tried them yet. You take a stand against nothing. You know, if you can't tell me about pot unless you've tried it. We told them not to take it. If you've tried it, then you can share some ideas. We're older than you, and we told them not to take it because we've been around more than you have. It doesn't matter. It does. so absolutely it matters, my friend. You can look at all this kind of pictures. These are live pictures, but I used to look at, at, at this type of pictures, and I tell you, it depraved my mind. I'll tell, I'll my you mind was going listen, bananas. Listen, you want to you give, give me an example? I know that you, want me to give you an example? Other people. Yeah. All right, and I can prove this happened. I used to be a driver on the road. Okay, I had two trucks of my own. And I was pulling a load from Vancouver to Calgary. Yeah. And I was going up over the Rogers Pass, and I just started going down. To, you know where you go through the tunnels? I just started going down the other side, and I broke a, uh, an, an air hose of my hair, and I got a, and that truck was free wheeling. Okay, I got a full load of steel on. It's right in the summertime. Campers coming up both sides of that highway, going up and down. I had no control over that truck. I jumped, mister, at 35 miles an hour, and I said to myself, before I jumped, I said, oh, God, please, don't let anybody be coming up, or I'm going to kill a few people. And do you know, I jumped, I hit the pavement, I rolled. And the last thing I remember, before I lost consciousness, brother, was campers coming up, and that truck missed every one of them, went up over the bank, and flipped over, and nobody got killed. I don't know. Now, you tell me whether there's no God or not. Man, there is some power that's beyond us. Believe me. Well, sir, I... And then you have to cleanse your brain out of all this garbage and sickness. Yeah. And it depends on how polluted your brain because is the, already. The Lord, the Lord made the mind, and, and the he truth. has put down standards in his word that the mind should be fed with. And uh, these are not so, things that the mind should be fed with. The like time, bestiality the next time and carnality. As far as I'm concerned, uh, there is pardon? no bestiality in it. Have you seen it? Yes, I have. 
there's not. Well, uh, how would you define bestiality? An act of sex with an animal of some type. Well, it says uh, it says there's things like that going on, like so human bestiality. Yeah, yeah, that's why human bestiality. Listen, I, you know, this this doesn't make any sense because it, it, people, uh, you know, you don't have to go and see it. That's right. No, there's no uh, nobody. Nobody's, forcing. nobody's sitting there with a gun saying you can't no, but go we and see, see it. the results of this kind of uh, stuff going into the, our kids. You know, the drug culture, the sex culture, all this yeah, stuff. Don't have people to imagining vain things. Well, why should you be? Why should up? you be telling me? Are having some type of law enforcement, that I can't go do this type of thing. If I want to, it's a that free society. Right? If you want to go and see it, you can go and see it. If you don't want to see it, you just don't walk by it. You don't, you know, well, it's your it's money. You can spend it to do what you want. Society is reversing its laws today against people that have a standard, and yet it's reversing the laws to let people go do this kind of thing. And uh, you know, why do the people See, imagine a vain thing? Yeah, exactly. Canada is a free country. And there's been more people killed over religion than it ever has over a movie. read something, you can read it. Religion? You can't have the government come in. If the government wanted to come in, they'd do the same thing with this. Well, they're promoting uh, homosexuality with the government. Our What's the matter with leader that? Brought that in. What's the matter with that? It's against uh, God's word. He judged Sodom and Gomorrah for the same sin, for the same reaper. Well, the thing is this. Uh, what I'm sober, a man so that's what he shall read. The people, if you sow weeds, you're not going to reap tomatoes. You sow filth, so then you reap filth. The people wonder how come there's so much crime and dirt and filth and the people robbery. It's because what they have sown in those movies and those magazines is exactly what they have reaped today. You say if he created the world. Because I want to Because you, know, the the, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you see, there's the devil come out in you. Muck me like that. My, you don't you know what muck me oh, like you just, that. You just finished saying. Yeah, you muck me you like just that. finished saying that if God created the world. Yes, if God created but the world. But he did create yeah, the world. No, you're a dogmatist. No, he you're did a create. No, but you you're said that you believed in Jesus, right? I said if. No, you said you if. believed in Jesus, right? Go ahead. You said you believed in Jesus, and then you said if he created the world, well, he did create the world. There's no ifs or buts about it, brother. My dear friend, my dear friend, there's a lot of people no ifs or buts. believe that Jesus and I'm not mad at you because you hit me in the face. Imagine what would happen if I hit you back. You know, I'd kill you, but I wouldn't because I love you, brother. No, no, no. Put your hands on me for Christ's sake. I love you, brother. No, I love you, brother. You see, there, in, 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 in Jesus, there's no hate. Not even argue. You believe God would be the world. Oh, you better believe it. Hallelujah. Everybody. Those that don't want to be. Everybody. They can be. All right. I believe 100%. Even God left them. Everybody.